Hello and welcome back to my channel. We will solve your prelims previous year economic questions and understand few important concepts. The multidimensional poverty index developed by Oxford Poverty and Human Development Initiative with UNDP support covers which of the following. Now this question also includes some important information that multidimensional poverty index is developed by Oxford Poverty with the UNDP support. Options are deprivation of education, health, assets and services at household level, purchasing power parity at national level, extent of budget deficit and GDP growth rate at national level. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. The multidimensional poverty index called MPI bases its estimation on three facts. First, education which includes two things. First, years of schooling and attendance in school. Second is health measured in terms of child mortality and nutrition. And third is standard of living measured in terms of electricity, sanitation, drinking water, flooring of the house, cooking fuel and asset ownership. And equal weights are assigned to all these three. So the answer will be one only. Next, under which of the following circumstances may capital gains arise? Options are when there is an increase in the sales of a product, when there is a natural increase in the value of the property owned, when you purchase a painting and there is a growth in its value due to increase in its popularity. Select the correct answer using the course given below. Now capital gains was again in news because government included the gains from the crypto as capital gains and capital gains tax is now applicable on that. Capital gain is that when the value of your asset increases and it is realized when somebody sells that property or asset then gains are realized and then tax is applicable on that. So when there is an increase in the sales of a product it is not the correct option. Natural increase in the value of the property owned true. When the value of a painting increases yes so the answer will be 2 and 3. You must read about capital gains tax. It is an important topic for this year prelims. Next, which of the following measures would result in an increase in the money supply in the economy? Why the government needs to increase the money supply? To put more money in the hands of the consumers so that they spend more money. When they spend more money, demand increases. They create the demand. So the businesses have to produce more. Then they buy raw materials in this way. The economy grows. The investment increases. The measures taken to increase the money supply. Purchase of government securities from the public by the central bank. If the central bank will purchase the security from the public, then it means the public will have more money if they sell their securities which they own. So yes, this will increase the money supply. Deposit of currency in commercial banks by the public. No, this will decrease the money supply with the consumers. Borrowing by the government from the central bank. If the government borrows from the central bank, then government will spend. So that will also increase the money supply. Sale of government securities to the public by the central bank. When the central bank will sell the government securities and public will buy, then public will put their money in the bank in a way. So there will be less money with the public. So this will also not increase the money supply. So the answer will be 1 and 3. Purchase of government securities from the public by the central bank and borrowing by the government from the central bank. I hope I was able to explain these basic concepts. If you want more such videos, please post your comment and give a thumbs up if you like this video. Do subscribe if you are new here. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.